programmers. Today we're going to come up with a Python solution to the Tower of Hanoi mathematical puzzle. This puzzle involves three different towers that you can stack different disks on top of. Each of the disks has a different diameter. And there are three rules for this puzzle. You can only move one disk at a time. So I can't grab hold of the red and the blue disk at the same time and move them over. Um, you can only move the top of the stack. So the only move I can make right now is moving that red disk. And you cannot place larger disks on top of smaller ones. So I can't place the red one on peg B and then put the blue one on top of it because the blue one's bigger. So the goal here is always to go from one of the towers, like tower A, to tower C. So how could we do that? Well, let's break it down. Well, if there's only one disk, it seems quite easy to figure out how to get all the disks from A to C. You pretty much just take that disk that's on A and put it on C. So let's write that up in Python code. But let's make a function. I'm going to call it Tower of Hanoi. And it's going to take how many disks that you're moving or the, the number of the disks that you're moving. And then what is the name of the first tower, the tower you want to move it from? So maybe instead of tower A, I'm just going to call it the source. And then the helper tower, the that's for me, it's tower B. And then where do you want to move that? I'm going to call it destination. So for this function, if the tower only has one disk on it, it's pretty easy. You're just going to say, I'm going to be moving um, the disk from your source to your destination. And I'm using an F string here, so it'll fill in whatever is in source and destination in the string. And then you're done. You can return. So for this one disk problem, you would call it Tower of Hanoi and say you've got one disk. We're on disk number one, and we want to move it from A. Our helper tower, which we're not even using for this problem, is called B, and we want to move this to C. So we'll go ahead and hit run, and it should say, yep, to solve this Tower of Hanoi puzzle, we just moved the disk from A to C. So far, so good. What about if we have two disks? It's a little bit more complicated, but not that hard. So the first move we could make, we can move the disk on top of A to either B or C, but there's an advantage to putting it in B on B. And that is that we have C free to move the blue disc to its final destination. And then with one more move, we'll be able to move the red one on top of it. We're gonna use recursion to solve this. So I'm going to call the function that I'm inside of. That's what tells you this is a recursive function. And I'm going to pass in not the number that was passed to me, but one smaller. And instead of having my source be A and my destination be C, I really want to move A onto B. So I'm going to say I want to move, I'll keep the source the same, but I'm going to switch my perception of what is my helper peg and what is my destination, I'm going to switch those so that this is going to help us move um, the disk from A to B, at least if we just have two of them. And then what else are we going to do? Well, once we've moved that disk A out of the way, we can go ahead and move the disk from our source to the destination. And then there's one more move we need. We need to move 
that disc one. And this time I want to go from the helper, um, which was for me, it's the V peg. And now the auxiliary one that I don't really need is source. And I'm still moving to my destination. So we run this, not too much more code. And we've got the three moves that we actually need to solve the two disk Tower of Hanoi problem. Well, how can we expand it to three disks? Let's just see what happens if we put in three and try running it. And we're going to find this actually does solve the three disk problem. We, we do have the seven correct steps. So I'm going back to the drawing. With recursion, the goal is to take yourself back to a smaller version of the problem that you, you already know how to solve. So we're calling the function with a, a three, saying there's three disks. We don't really know how to solve that. So wouldn't it be nice if we could just ignore that third disk and go back to a problem that we already know how to solve? And that's what exactly what we're doing. So we end up calling that function. Remember when we did n minus one? So our n was three. We wanted to call that function with n minus one so we could get to a problem that we actually know how to solve. And we didn't want to immediately move those two disks over to C. That's why we swapped what the destination and the helper was because what we wanted to do to help us is move these two over to B instead of C. So we end up calling the function with n minus one with two instead of three and swapping the helper and the destination. Well, what was the first step of moving two? Well, the first step in moving two was actually moving one. Pretend that we don't have a two problem, a two disk problem. Pretend that we just have a one disk problem. And let's move that disk one from A to C. We've actually we've now completed the very first move that we need. Because we're pretending that our green disk doesn't exist, now we can just move the blue disk over to B. That's down to that one disk problem again that we're really good at solving. Um, now we need to move C onto B. Uh, we've got that, uh, that is our third step there, move C to B. We can now stop pretending that disk A doesn't exist because it's all by itself. And we're very good at that one disk problem. So that was the move disk from A to C phase. Now we've got kind of the two disk problem again. We've got two disks on B and we would like to move them to C. Well, that was a problem that we've already solved a couple different times. So using recursion, we're gonna move those both. Our new recursive function call, we've got two things that we wanna move from the source of B to C. We know how to do that. We've done that similar thing before. The first step for that is we move whatever is on top from a the source to the destination of the helper peg. So that red one is going to go over here. And now we're back to the one disk problem, which we're pretty good at. We want to move that B over to C. So we only have one more step. We just need to get A over there on top. And that's that one disk problem that we've been solving since the beginning. Our recursive function call says we now have a one disk problem where we want to move from A to C. We, we can do that in our sleep now we have completed all of these steps. It ends up taking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps to solve the three disk problem. And what happens if we try four? We are gonna find out that this actually solves the four disk problem. And if we tried five or six or seven, it actually always comes up with the optimal solution for whatever number of disks we have. So we actually have solved the Tower of Hanoi problem in just a fraction of the lines of code you might've imagined for such a complicated math puzzle. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. And again, this uses recursion. Happy programming.